Billy, you are an international master based in the UK, but you also represent Fermese in other countries, particularly in the Middle East. Do you think this onstage experience in front of such a large audience could be enriched for your future Fermese trainings? First and foremost, I'm extremely uh, privileged to be given this chance to showcase my talent in front of such a large audience in this event. This event for me is not only for me, it's for many hairdressers to come. It's an opportunity, it's inspiring to become a Fermese fan, uh, to become loving the hairdressing in, in every way in the world. As I'm presenting, representing Fermese in Middle East, I'm a strong advocate for the training. And, and I think since we have been training with some of our partners in Middle East, we have seen great results and I'm looking forward not only with uh, Middle East, all, all where in the world, everywhere in the world, we to grow with this education, to give the hairdresser a chance one day to be, to be here on the stage or maybe to be in this event and showcasing them uh, skill as well. A few words on the Barbie mania. Did it affect UK hair trends as well? In this event we are doing the Barbie. It's one thing, it really it has uh, it took my imagination. Even before this Barbies has come out, I think the Barbie mania was already in the air because in many fashion uh, stores, like uh, the High Street fashion store, they was bringing the pink colors, uh, opal pink in the store. And since the, uh, the uh, Barbie film has been out, everything has gone viral. Not only in UK, also in United States. Uh, the, the, not only women's, also men start wearing the pink clothes, the accessories. I think this has been amazing. And now we are showing this in fashion way in Fermese event. And this is great opportunity. Everybody see differently, not only one way.